Uju, Wabishke Mashkade, Bishiki and Nini and Dushinakaz, my ink and Nido Dame. My name's Steve Happy. I'm with the uh, Tacoma chapter of the Leonard Peltier Defense Offense Committee. I'm an Anishinaabe descendant from the Fond du Lac Band of Minnesota Chippewa. But I've lived out here all my life in Tacoma. And, you know, like Chauncey, I was a little boy when his father went into to prison for the shootout of Oglala. And I can remember Wounded Knee on TV when I was a little kid. You know, a little child the size of these children you see around us. I remember feeling terror. You know, nowadays the word terrorism is thrown around really easily. It's used to, to accuse people that defend the land and the water in a non-violent way. Those people are being accused of terrorism. Our Indian people, they're trying to defend reservation and reserve lands with idle no more. They're getting that finger pointed at them. Well, I'll tell you, being a little child and seeing the military on TV, the military coming after Indian people on television as a little child, knowing that you're an Indian and wondering if the, the, the army's going to come after you. That's pretty terrifying. That's terrorism. So I just want to give thanks to the uh, all the, the people of the, the Puyallup Nation and all the people that traveled from all over to come here today. People came from California, Oregon, came from BC. We often have people come from all over the country. There may be people from other states or from up in Canada or elsewhere in the world here today. I just want to thank everyone for being here today. All the different tribes, all the different nations of people that came together for supporting Leonard Pelter's clemency. I want to give thanks to all our drummers that came today and all the, the I Don't Know More people that came out today. Is it, all of our struggles are tied together. You know, it was the energy companies that basically gave the orders to the FBI to terrorize the people of Pine Ridge through that goon squad, to terrorize the people, the traditional people that wanted to protect the land and water. I mean, who in their right mind is going to give an energy company the right to mine uranium on your land and toxify your aquifer? They're destroying our waters. They're doing it today. This wasn't just in the 70s. It's happening now. It's continuing to happen all throughout Canada. We need to defend the land, the water, and our, con our continuing connection to the land and water. Whatever our nation, all of us have a common ancestry with the earth. It's mindless to put toxins into your water. Don't toxify your air. What it what is anybody thinking that goes along with that willingly? So all of us need to come together and stop the XL pipeline, stop the coal trains from coming through, stop the fracking, stop all of these different violations of our right to have life, violating the rights of our plant and animal relatives that we're dependent on. We're not superior to them. We're dependent on them. Think about your actual connection with the living world. And that's why Leonard Peltier is in prison. It's because those energy companies, the same ones that are working to destroy our communities today, were working to destroy Pine Ridge in the 70s. And Leonard Peltier took that call and went there and ended up getting set up in the situation that has him in prison today. So right now, we're asking for everyone to take part in the Letters for Leonard campaign. You can find this online. And uh, I passed around flyers just a little while ago that have the address to send it to. 
Also, please continue to send letters of support for Leonard Peltier's executive clemency for President Obama. Send those to the White House. Make the calls to the White House on the, the uh, White House comments line. They have a fax number. You can find all that contact information online. So please get online. Send President Obama your voice in every way possible. But in particular right now, we're calling on everyone to take part in that Letters, Letters for Leonard campaign. You can also educate yourself more on the case with this book, The Spirit of Crazy Horse. In The Spirit of Crazy Horse was kept off the shelves for about a decade because the FBI took it to court and they spent all that, they spent so much money on keeping Leonard in prison that, I mean, it's, it's insane. The amount of people who that could be fed and clothed with the amount of money from your tax dollars that goes into keeping this man unjustly in prison. But we have this book today. It's on shelves. You can buy it online. You can find it in used bookstores. You can buy it through the defense committee. Like, just look for it and educate yourself on the case. There's the film Incident Oglala. If you can uh, find that, it's on Amazon, I believe, like under $10. You can order the DVD. You can probably find a copy of Warrior by, uh, I believe her name was, the uh, filmmaker's name was Bear, like the last name. But uh, there's a film called Warrior, a really good document. A documentation on the malfeasance of the FBI and their connection to the energy companies. So I, I ask everyone to please, after this event, go home and write those letters. Write those letters and send them. We need those letters. The, the purpose of Letters for Leonard is so that we can have physical you know, a mass of physical letters and postcards to hand over on camera for the media so people can see the mass of support that there is for Leonard's clemency. This needs to happen. He's not just a, a figurehead or a symbol. He is a symbol of all the oppression and the just the, the malfeasance of the government. But he's an actual living human being that's been in prison since I was a little child for a so-called crime that he never committed. Two other men were acquitted for the exact same situation that he is in prison for today. They were acquitted on grounds of self-defense. Bob Robinu and Dino Butler got a fair trial for the same incident and they were acquitted on grounds of self-defense. Think about that. Every bit of evidence that was used, every single bit of evidence that was used to convict Leonard Peltier in his trial has been shown to be fabricated or coerced. And yet they keep him in there. We have to speak out. We have to contact the White House and let them know we're not going to tolerate that. We're not going to let them terrorize us anymore. <sighs> so with that, I just want to wrap this up with, with thanks to everyone that came here today and everybody listening, everyone that spoke, but especially everyone that listened, everyone that heard the voices of the speakers today and heard those songs and prayers. Thank you all. Oh, all my relations.